I restarted my computer, and so it kept my mic. It kept my mic all the way off. Thank you, YouTube, for letting me know. Spellbreaker, thank you. Prince of Foxes, thank you for the first sub of me being an official Twitch partner. I don't think I get anything to put on my dashboard, but I have the email. They fucking, they gave in. And so what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna be mean to people on MTG Arena. So we're building Judith. And what we're gonna try and avoid doing is we're gonna try and avoid picking all removal spells that we just turn into lifelink spells. We're gonna have to pick a couple because it's just fucking optimal. But what I would like to do is I would like to make a bunch of imps and then smash people's face in with those imps. Hammer Jackson, thank you for the tier one Twitch sub. Welcome to the dog home. Uh, we're absolutely, we're absolutely doing burn down the house. Kala, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the dog home. I appreciate those Bezos bucks. Spellbreaker, you can paste it. I'm not looking at it though. Not out of any actual, like I appreciate you trying to help. I have so many tabs that I look through that I, it simply will not work for me to try to balance looking at somebody else's deck list and then building this one. Big Blue, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate those Bezos bucks and thank you for moving over from YouTube and everybody for contributing to the Fallout set review sub goal we have. Saint, thank you very much. So I think first and foremost, we do need ramp. We do need, we do need just, uh, just bullshit ramp. And then let's see what good lands we have first. Anonymous Buffalo, thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome to the dog home, my friend. Brit, thank you. All right, so I feel like the gates are good. Sure, Thriving Bluff, I mean, God. The Discover Lands, probably also good. Oh, we have fucking Blood Crypt? Let's go, we are, we're cooking now. Oh, we have all the fucking dual lands for this. Beautiful. Do we want forest or... Oh, command tower for sure. I feel like escape tunnel. And then Maestro's Theater works. Fabled Passage works. We're like... I'm so... I'm so not sold on Evolving Wilds. Just because we're, we're only... We're on... We're on two colors, we're not on three colors. If we were on three, I would accept that we have to give up and just take all these super slow lands. Um, I mean, this is that's actually worse than, than one of those. Okay, so we have a shitload of lands right now, and then what we want to start doing is sacrifice a creature, I don't want to take removal because we're going to have a lot of other good removal. What I want, or like Judith is going to make everything good removal. But I do want what Spellbreaker called out, which is sacrifice something to get card advantage becomes very, very good. Because we're going to have stuff to sacrifice and it's going to um, damage our opponents. I don't think Acolyte is quite good enough for this. Braids probably works for this too. Um, I think Grave Lighter does work as well. I could take, I could just take a shitload of Edicts. I do definitely need to make Treasure. So we're getting the fuck, we're getting the boy in here. And then we probably take gold span just because who doesn't take fucking gold span on arena. We'll take the one ring for the same. This is, this is going to be a gross deck. I just want, I just want us to know that from the beginning. Huh?
Uh, do I need to turn on? Yeah, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. Windmill Slam, Aether Flux, Reservoir. Oh yeah, because we will, we will unfortunately have a lot of spell slinging going on. So Faithless Looting. We probably want like Burgie and Urabrask in here too, if we're gonna be doing spell slinging. And then I imagine Storm Kiln. Are there any? Oh, well, yeah, but I don't think Blasphemous, Blasphemous Act isn't on Arena. There's a lot of other kooky bullshit we can get up to. I don't think O'Hare is what we want here because it just doesn't, like, we're already giving our instants and sorceries Death Touch and Life Link, and so it would act as doubling the damage of our imps dying. I do not think that is, I legitimately do not think that is good enough. Yoshiko, thank you for coming by the stream for the first time. Beefcake Emperor, thank you very much. Arcane Bombardment does well with Judith. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe this Judith, Judith deck is one of the only homes for Arcane Bombardment. Maybe Brawl is dirtily enough that we can get away with Arcane Bombardment, Judith. Uh, and then we're also we're gonna be doing a lot of viewer games today So I'm about to open up that raffle. So anybody that wants to Potentially play against this deck get ready to enter The twitch raffle for anybody in twitch chat that command is exclamation point raffle and you will have the opportunity to play against me presumably on uh, Whatever horse horse shittery I come up with Oh yeah, Crime Novelist. Crime Novelist would be good. And then I think we want damage to each creature. I almost want to take fucking Bowmasters just because Bowmasters is broken. Oh wait, no, they fixed it, right? They, they balanced it so that it's not on ETB. Callow, that happens, Callow, that happens a lot, but it's not, uh, you should be able to double click into the deck and resave it and then have it be fine. Yeah, Spellbreaker, Blast Act just isn't in, Blast Act isn't in Arena. Tectonic Hazard becomes very good. Cast Into the Fire becomes very good. Chain Reaction isn't on Arena Spellbreaker. <laughs> and then we could go... I'm pretty sure it's... Hold on, let me check. Let me make sure I'm not psyoping. I know Blast Act isn't. Yeah, no, Chain Reaction isn't either. Yeah, all of, all of the board wipes that would make... That would make the deck, like, truly ridiculous just do not exist on uh on arena okay so then i mean we could dock side brotherhood's end is definitely good the problem with brotherhood's end is that we need we need better we need better overall treasure generation because if we do if we do things that aren't one-sided, like Brotherhood's End or like Burn Down the House, we get a lot of life and we send our commander back to the Shadow Realm and it's generally inadvisable to shoot yourself in the dick. Solgath, thank you for the tier one Twitch sub. Welcome to the dog home, my friend. Um, and so it would be good. I would rather have more things like and the festivities just as good as burn down the house we don't get as much life but it is only focused on uh opponent creatures barrage of boulders i'm looking it up 
Oh yeah, no, that's perfect. A common? I love you. Mark, you are a sweetie. Thank you very much. I think coin flick might be on arena. Flick a coin is... God, we really are making this just too much removal, but it's so, it's so easy. Yeah, Mayhem Devil. I don't know about Mayhem Devil, because I don't think... I don't think we are going to have too many Aristocrat triggers. What I think we're going to have is Spell Slinging, and then we are just going to swing the Imps at them, and they're either going to die or, or not. Yeah, true. Roaming Throne is just... I, do, I really don't believe in O'Hare Ashenel. I don't think it's... Oh, wait. Let me see. If, if, if the O'Hare works on creatures, then we're there. No, it's only to an opponent. So this is really... This is really just double the Judith trigger on when an imp dies and I think there's like there's better stuff we could have <clears throat> like I would rather double everything side Norna hello Akai Panda thank you for coming by the stream we're gonna get you back in arena Akai we're gonna fix you don't worry oh true black market connections I'm going to look at make a treasure. Oh, I feel like we also want... I'm putting my boy... I'm putting my, my prosperous man in here just because he's good. <clears throat> Phyrexian Arena for sure. And then maybe we want... I think we want a couple things. We want a couple like overkill red spells to act as really big bits of life gain. Like we have a, we have a lot of stuff that's meant to to shoot straight for the knees and I want some stuff that will shoot. I mean lightning bolt is just really good. Uh I want some stuff that's going to hit for like a million and then give us a bunch of life back. Crackle with power. That's a good shout username. Impediabot, thank you so much. I am I am over the moon that I am Twitch partner now, and it is thanks to all of you. I appreciate every last one of you from the bottom of my heart. And to show my appreciation, I'm gonna build a terrible fucking deck. Glystig, thank you for the Twitch follow. Welcome to the doghouse, my friend. We need I need I need to deal more da I don't I'm not dealing enough damage yet. Gimme the gimme these high mana high mana useless otherwise useless removal spells. Could we we could do maybe we do a dragon's approach deck with her separately. We, we'll do a dip. We'll do a different deck. That's dragons. A different day. Different day. We'll do dragons approach. Explosive singularity. Oh, ten damage any target. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And then definitely crackle. We already have end the festivities ascendance. Crackle with power for sure. Uh, we probably we don't have like any fucking creatures. I don't know if Banefire's on arena. Banefire is on arena. Okay, we're we're getting that then. So we have Ragavan. We don't have any enchantment removal, and we're not taking any. 
Blasphemous Act isn't in Arena Jammy. Oh, 20? Yeah, that just wins us the game. Sure. Valky? I don't know. I don't think that has anything to do anything to do with the rest of the stuff we're doing. Oh yeah, for sure. Harmonic Prodigy. We have Deadly Dispute. We need... Honestly, I think DRC might be good here. We have a couple, we have a couple one-sided wipes already. We'll take diamond pickaxe as well. Oh, we need more, we need just more draw spells. We need like, thrill. We need this shit. We need, uh, unexpected windfall. What's the other one? Like, Ren's resolve. Like we gotta be, we gotta be casting bullshit. Reminder, anyone on Twitch wants to play against this deck, uh, be sure to use the exclamation point raffle command. And then just because we're dickheads, we will pick Shieldra the Apocalypse anyway, cause why not? Uh, let's, let's scale it down. We got to look for some creatures. None of these are very good creatures, but we might find a good one soon. You know what? Snarling Gorehound, not actually terrible here. Limited all-star snarling gorehound. Um, mana form. We have storm kiln. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. You guys are making me spend all my mythic rares on the dami mommy. Gleeful Demolition is does not appear to be in uh, in Arena. Nor does oh wait, I spelled that wrong. Okay, Raphael is true. Okay, he's only a rare. God bless. So let's look at this. We have we still have forty lands. I didn't add Torment of Hailfire. I don't think we're making enough mana for Torment of Hailfire to pay off. Uh, professional Facebreaker, yes. Spellbreaker, we have, we have all of those. Oh, and then we want Grim, Grim Hireling. Oh, is Mahadi up in Arena? Mahadi's not in Arena, Panzer. We're not taking Bolus's Citadel. We're better than that. We're better than that. It's because Crackle with Power deals damage, which will become lifelink. So Crackle with Power becomes life gain. Okay, Gleeful Demolition is definitely on Arena. So if you could then help if you could if you could help me then. Because I have collected and not collected. Oh, it's because I have creature check. There we go. Wait, why is this good? This is No, that's bad. We're <laughs> we're, t we're taking it off Arena.
Where the hell did this go in my deck? Please get it. Please get the fuck out of my deck right now. It's popper good. Destroy a treasure, get three one ones is good for an aggro deck. Anybody who thinks this is an aggro deck fundamentally misunderstands what we're going for. We are a we are a mid range deck that hopes to eventually do non deterministic storm. Like we have no. Yeah, Kai, thank you for pointing that out. We're in red black. We're aggro. So such a lie, bestie. Such a bold-faced lie in my stream. Painful Bond? I haven't looked. I don't know what Painful Bond is. Why the fuck would this be in here? No, it's not. I don't have, I don't have Young Peasy in here yet. Uh, now that I'm Twitch partnered, what is going to change for me? I think the main thing that's going to change is that I'm going back to doing more variety stuff. So the schedule now, um, oh shit, I haven't rolled out the fucking Patreon change. So we're not putting Sanguine Bond in here. We're better than that. So what's going to change now is Mondays is going to be arena drafting. Wednesdays is going to be deck roasting, which is going to be a continually available thing via my Patreon starting tonight. Thursdays is going to be League of Legends, and then Fridays and Saturdays is going to be Audible, whatever the fuck I feel like streaming. So there's just going to be more non-magic stuff. Mishra claimed by Gix is in here. I don't, but I think this is a Candyland card because this is, this is only really good when we have a lot of creatures attacking and I don't have faith that we'll get, uh, that we'll get a lot attacking. Thank you for the follow Lua with a, with a N. How does that work? But thank you. Blood Artist and Blood Artist's Extremely Large Sun. That is a good point. I don't know if I have Vein Ripper. Is this... Listen, guys. We can't be spending another Mythic Rare. We've, we've spent a lot... I mean, for some Yiddies? We, I could, we could do a lot whenever you cast or copy. Yeah, that does... Oh, you know what I'm going to put in? I'm gonna put in some spell copying. I, listen, I believe you, I believe you, right, that Onyx is worth it. I just, we've already, we've already spent so much, so many fucking wild cards. We are running Shielder of the Apocalypse. Yeah, I feel like Strike at Rich becomes becomes playable. And then we really do not have a lot of creatures. Bump in the night is very whatever. Oh, Rick Dom, listen. I've I've previously covered in 1v1 arena, god anything goes. Anything goes in 1v1 arena. Everything I say about shit that is like lame or uncool or boring to do, all of that goes immediately out the window as soon as we're talking about 1v1 arena brawl because everybody is only doing fuckery on arena brawl. Oh, electrostatic, yeah. Yeah, Electrostatic is good. We could even take Field if we wanted another creature. Bendy's brother, yes, listen. I, refu I refuse to make my biases internally consistent. Bolus's Citadel is even is too much for me. Bolus's Citadel is just I can't I can't fucking take it. Uh, Irakaj, I am going to Amsterdam. Me and my girlfriend Z main character will be there. And it's going to be a lot of fucking fun. So I hope to see a lot of you there. Oh, Dade, I'm sorry. I missed that personal question. 
Yo, what happened to viewer games? I'm doing a tester before I let you all fuck me up. We're gonna be live for like three hours. I'm doing... For, you will forgive me. Oh, it's fucking Voha. I hate this. I fucking... I hate this. Panzer, we've got Opportunist. Uh... I mean, this is really slow, but this is kind of the deck we built. I think we just... But I think we die to Voha if we keep this hand. Okay, that's faster. Do we have any spell damage ramp? I'm confused by what you mean by spell damage ramp. Okay, we could escape tunnel. I feel like we escape tunnel now just to keep just to keep the curve going. Yeah, dude, Voa is so boring. It's so much better than it needed to be for absolutely zero effort. Oh no, we're not taking amp. I think the amp is gonna be like I think I think magic damage amp in Judith is win more. I don't think it's win the game. I think it's just win win a game you were already going to win by a really big margin. Chris Gia, thank you so much. This person doesn't even know they're about to beat the shit out of a Twitch partner. This person doesn't even know. I'm looking to build a deck around Toxrill. Any suggestions? Don't! That's all. Hey, that's all I got for you. Uh, okay, we'll drop Morbid Opportunist. We'll drop Shieldred. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a tough time. We're so we're so gooned. As soon as as soon as they start making these fucking elves. Oh yeah, we're we're bonered. Thankfully none of their none of their things can kill Shelly right now. Michael, hello my friend. Yeah, we're getting we're getting totally fucking gooned. Cecilia, I hope you liked it, because I do not like playing against Voha. Voha landfall. Yeah, this is Oh wow, look, look guys. <laughs> it's the card we took. It turns out every every heroic brawl deck wants to play Roaming Throne. And then I guess they could have this fight. Keldon, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate those Bezos bucks. Welcome to the dog home. Roaming Throne is goaded. Roaming Throne is, in fact, too goaded. Uh, Michael, yeah, so we have a Fallout set review sub goal. That's for me to do an expansive Fallout set review on stream. Um, the... It's uh, Twitch subs only because that is the amount I'm estimating I will have to pay my editor for this shit to work out. It also, I'm very sad we're sacrificing this thing, but you know, we had to get the party started somehow. All right, and we're gonna gain a shitload of life and we're gonna do it again. <laughs> We need a fucking, we need a board wipe so fucking badly. Pretty please, can I get a fucking, we do not have a board wipe, which is, I'm in pain. End the festivity, any of our one-sided board wipes would be crazy. We have a couple here. We have a lot of life, which will give us a slightly, <laughs> will give us like one more turn. 
Does Arena have Aether Flux? This deck has Aether Flux. Oh, they are gooning, bro. Should've got Blazing Volley. I may, like, one of the switches we may put in is I may drop one or two lands just to get more one-sided, one-sided sweepers. Oh, you fucking cornball. You fucking loser. I mean, do you want to swing the- what the fuck? Are they straight up just killing their commander? I mean, I guess they get so many. They get so many fucking things. Oh, they're dying to this. So I just need to deal two damage. Wait, they're dead next turn. They're going to draw a card and die. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that makes me so happy. That's so funny. Dead because they greeted out. Yeah, draw your card, bro. Oh wait, they might have interaction. If they interact if they remove it before draw step, they uh could live here. Please kill the wrong thing. Oh, they just have double. Damn. N what? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> literally, literally best Naya player in the world right here. Number one, number one ranked Naya player in the world in that game. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, yeah, we're gonna open we're gonna open this puppy up to the people. First winner, Dark End, it's you, baby. If we are friends already, hit me with a challenge. If we're not friends already, give me your tag. And we will become friends. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> That was, God. That's probably my fa my absolute favorite, like, first ever game for a deck. Oh, I don't have any of my fucking, none of my lights are on, you guys. Hold on. We, I fucked so much stuff. I was so hyped about being on time for stream that I did not turn any of my shit on. Yeah, we'll take this challenge. We'll take this first challenge and then we'll fix. We're not doing the shmoney dance. We're doing, where's my. Dude, actually, actually, Shield of the Apocalypse proving that they're a totally fair magic card right there. Yeah, Cass, you did call it. Beefcake Emperor, holy shit, thank you for the 10 gifted tier 1 subs. Welcome to Dog Heaven, my friend, and you have gifted at the perfect time because we are about to try the greediest bullshit ever. Ragavan, we play we play with that. We play with we play if we get a Ragavan. It doesn't matter if we're turn one tapped. Yeah, we have Ragavan, we have a sweeper, we have removal. We do need a fucking land. We need a land real bad. Uh, I think here we, yeah, slow land again. Beefcake, thank you so fucking much, my man. Pushing us towards the set review goal. Don't have, okay, you have, fuck! <laughs> now it's a standoff, because if I kill this, they just kill Ragavan. Uh... Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just... I'll just save myself the removal. And then... They just have to give it up just to do it. Uh, 
I think we probably flick a coin again next turn. We want to get the card. We want to get a treasure. Oh, they're not even fucking. They're just ramping. That's horrifying. Oh, yeah. No, we gooned the fuck out of their jury for sure. That's actually even better. Yeah, now we have, all right, now we have mommy mana and we're pickaxing, we're minecrafting all over them. Mayhem devil, that's crazy about you, bro. Stay safe in these streets. We're gonna waste the treasure mana, but who gives a fuck? I want the counters. I want the counters. They probably have a board wipe though. <laughs> this is this is John. They probably have some type of absolutely fricked up. Uh, now we will send them to hell. We just care about damage. We just care about the fucking dammies. Yeah, the crime novelist is just ripping pull ups at the library. I'm not even letting you attack. Get that shit out of my face. Get flicked on. Oh, damn. I had lethal there. That's my bad. I could have cracked all these treasures to do windfall to make more treasures and it would have been enough to put four counters on crime novelist. My mistake. My mistake, bestie. I should have gooned a little bit harder. I did not goon close enough to the sun here. Play with your food. No, don't play with your food. Fucking eat quickly and clean your plate. I hate these. I hate these roping motherfuckers. Oh, Caveman B-Rad, thank you for the Prime sub as well. I think I missed that. Welcome to the dog home, my friend. Hey, man, you'll find the answer. I believe in you. Get more lands. Thin the deck. Hey, thin the deck. The out will be the out will be on top. Toast with bread. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. They're showing they're showing me what would have happened. They're showing me what would have happened if I had given them a chance. If I had given them a single chance. Boogie Woogie Toast, you're the Boogie Woogie guy! <laughs> Thank you for coming by the stream, man. I love, I fuck, it warms my heart every time I see one of the Boogie Woogie comments. We're gonna go ahead and pull the next winner. Kirokuto, you are up. By the way, if you don't get pulled, you don't need to re enter. You stay entered in the draft the whole time. Hi, Tides. We actually just built a Judith deck. And it's working, it's working pretty well. It won against the first random we played against and it won against the first viewer. It definitely has some stuff. I think it's probably a rock, paper, scissors deck in the sense that it beats some things really well. And an aggro, like a good aggro Boros deck probably throttles it unless it, unless it hits a board wipe. Hupaka, yes, we got Twitch partner. Oh, you don't have a deck right? We can move on. We can come, Kirokuto, if you ever want to claim it this stream, you are welcome to come back and get your viewer game. Otherwise, we're moving on to Chris A. Uh, but right now, I need to get my, I need to get the plug-in for my other light. So I'll be right back. Chris, please send me that challenge. Toast, please send me that personal question. Anybody on TikTok that wants to play against me, 
head over to Twitch and use exclamation point raffle. I love all of you. Uh, YouTube, Mwah. you're my favorites. I'm kidding. Twitch, you're my favorites. I'm kidding. TikTok, you're my favorites. I'm kidding. Okay, we're so back now. We're so overexposed, oh my god. Okay. Magnus, you can't know that, you are my, you personally are my favorite, Magnus. Chair, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, Toast, I have, I've done stand-up. Uh, one of the main reasons I didn't continue doing stand-up is uh, one because it's really hard and uh, two because the schedule of being a stand-up comedian involves a lot of very late nights and a lot of cocaine and can't do it uh, and then Chris if you are here I'm just gonna fucking, I'm just gonna send a brawl request to you. Yeah, too much boogie, too much boogie and too much woogie, surprisingly. Thank you, Chris. Oh, Jadar. Yeah, this is the type of deck that could get me. Uh, this seems keepable. We have Crime Novelist, and we have a way to make a treasure for Crime Novelist, and then we have a silly X spell. Cauldron Familiar. Oh, fuck. I don't think we need to Faithless Looting yet. We don't have a Cheese Brick Curve. The curve works. Yo, why is, why is my man just ramping? Okay, cycling. I was like, is he, is he about to fucking goon my crime novelist as soon as it resolves? Oh, I'm horrified, dude. Yeah, hey, that's all you. That's all you, brother. Okay, so we have two, we have two synergies. We have Judith mana. It really depends. Can we get through the next two turns without getting our board blown out? Then we're fine. It looks like maybe no. It looks like maybe no on that. Fuck. <clears throat> and then we'll... Oh, we probably, we should have kept Novelist. I had thought that the, um, oh, this sucks so bad. Um, we still have to do it because them having a sack outlet is, uh, with the decayed thing is we're just turbo fucked. Okay, so next turn we can get Judith out and we can Faithless Looting to give, to get us an Imp. Oh, we're, we're just fucked though, because of Grave Pack.
Yeah, you got it, brother. You got that. <laughs> Fucking necropotence on top, baby. GG's, Chris. Oh, wait, we need to pick the next winner. Zach likes lo-fi. You are here to remark on how much you hate this chat. Erudite, it's historic brawl. I refute historic brawl is normal brawl. Okay? Let's get one let's get one goddamn let's get one goddamn thing straight in this house. Okay, if we want to look at There's standard brawl, and then there's just brawl. This is historic brawl. Superdog, you run, you run whatever the fuck you need to run. <clears throat> I mean, always the funny deck. But this deck is okay. If this deck was bad, I would say definitely the funny deck. Oh god, it's a Raghavan deck. I should have... Fuck. It, we'll figure it out. Raghavan deck with Oracle of the Alpha as the goddamn avatar is something else, dude. That's like, the, that's the 10th layer of hell. Them getting to, them getting to go first is actually whack as fuck. Why are they mulliganing so much? What in the Sam hell? What in the Sam hell can be going on that the Ragavan Pilferer deck needs to Molta two? What the fuck? I'm sorry. Well, now I feel fucking bad about this this board wipe that's coming in. This is the funny deck. Super. Hey man. Hey, I knew. I could tell. That's hilarious that they pulled my star. I mean, we definitely, we definitely lightning bolt this motherfucker. No! I am not letting that shit happen. Get that the fuck out of my house. I have seen enough of those decks. Until they reveal a creature and you get it, fuck off forever. Not a chance. Get that sh get that shit out of my face. Goddamn Ragavan, for your fucking Tibalt's trickery deck. Caldera Breaker. I don't know what it was. No fun allowed. You, I have allowed, I have allowed you motherfuckers to combo on me so many viewer games. If I have a response, I am responding. If I don't have it, I will watch the funny happen. I had it fucking eight ways to Sunday. Key to the archive, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so this deck this deck works for sure. Imagine not letting the game winning combo go off SMH. That was our commander tournament last week. We had a Pantlaza Pantlaza win combo.
Okay, and then next turn we bane fire for a million and we win. All fun and games until the oppo rocks up with Ragavan and 99 mountains. This isn't that though. This is, this is, look at it. This is fucking Ragavan combo. <laughs> It's not any of that bullshit. I don't even know if I can afford this, but if I, yeah, I sure can. Perfectly, okay. Okay. Get fucking baned on. Superdog, since you went to the trouble of running your meme deck, I will let you get your get back with the good deck. Since I did kind of since I did kind of step directly on your penis when you tried to do the funny combo. But good game. I like the spirit that that deck have. It's more it's more interesting than most other Ragavan decks I see. I'll give you that. She bane on my fire till I can't be count. Yep. They want to do 60 card? We're breaking out. We're breaking out the slimes deck. Oh no, they wanted to do brawl. Okay. Yeah, they wanted brawl. Just a little oopsie poopsie. We are gonna pull the next winner while we wait for them. Lord Ruler, you are up next. If we are friends, send me the challenge request. If we are not friends, uh send me your tag. No, 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 it's still Brawl. The Slimes deck is bad. You don't want to... Listen, listen. We don't want to talk crazy about the Slimes deck. <laughs> Anybody on TikTok that wants an opportunity to play with me, head over to Twitch TV slash Maldhound and use exclamation point raffle. YouTube, the same goes for you because the bot only works in Twitch chat. We want slimes. I'll show off the slime deck. We we spent the like last 20 minutes of last stream trying to make it work and it's it's so bad. It's just so bad. It's not a brawl deck. It's a uh fucking it's a 60 card deck. <clears throat> I mean, sure. This is really just can we get to Nope, we lose. Fucking turn one ramp, it's over for us. Like maybe we can, maybe we can snipe out the mystic. No, fuck, they have more elves. Yeah, they got us. Hey, hey. Who could, who could complain about this, right? Me, fucking, I could and I will. This is bullsh. This is fuckery. They have four mana. They have four goddamn mana already. And then they're just gonna fucking play. That's okay. That, yeah, that card is not critical to our ventures. Oh, we can actually, hey, we don't even need our fucking commander. Get blown out for free, dog. I don't even need death touch. Let's play some fair magic. Let's play some fair goddamn magic. Fair magic because he plays bird. We play. We can't listen. We can't be mad at me when they're playing fucking elves every goddamn turn. You want to swing it? Now we're gonna copy this. I do want to keep. Yeah. So now we're going to have three mana. Oh, oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Float your mana. Float your mana, friend. For all the good it'll do you. We're so back. We're so back. Oh my god, this deck is evil. This deck is fucking evil, dude. Never mind. Never mind, we're gooned. Uh, I guess just like, pretty please arena. That's really, that sucks. Oh wait, if we get a land, if we get a land, we can't just tectonic hazard and then blow them out again. We do need a land though. Fuck. Now we have to try to live a turn. Oh wait, Bergy! It's any spell! Yes! <laughs> we're fucking We're back in action. Goodbye. Get your fuck ass board out of here. Oh my god. Knife knife chipped. Back blown out. Perks popped. It's all over. It's all over. Literally just fucking unstoppable. <laughs> what a deck this is. Pop a perk and I black out. Fuck it, I'm blowing your back out. Enjoy your extra card draw. I'm so happy right now. Mmm. Mmm. Children of the Apocalypse. The Girl Boss Trio. True. I think here we discard. We're gonna discard this. We want to get to Arc. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Next next turn we're on Arcane Bombardment, which is one of the main goals of this deck. If we if we do get to cast Star of Extinction, though, I'll be very happy. We'll gain fucking like a hundred life or something. Won't win us the game. Extremely literally will not win us the game. I'm doing the funny thing. I'm doing the funny thing. They get one more turn. They get one more turn. I just want to see an arcade bombardment go to work. You know how it is. Don't swing. Don't swing, brother. I'm not playing with my food. I'm trying to get a fucking clip for YouTube. Give me a break. Come on, let me bombard you. Fucking got him. This feels like pub stomping at casual tables. This is an Atali Primal Conqueror deck. What are we talking about? Hayden Fisher, if I send you money, will you roast Atali Primal Conqueror? Uh, so no, I do not. I will roast. I will roast decks for money. I do not roast commanders for money. Although as a special treat to everyone who is watching the stream right now, I will tell you this much. Atali is next. They are getting roasted Friday. Uh, I wanted to roast them today, but.
but I mandate that I only make one magic video a day to prevent myself from burning out. And my one magic video today was my shit about Bur Bloomborough. So Friday and Thursdays, I make myself take off. So Friday, you can expect an Atali Primal Conqueror roast. I have most of it written. The Abyss Watcher, thank you for the Twitch follow. Welcome to the doghouse, my friend. Tango Dash 1. Uh, we're also still waiting on the Lord Ruler. So Ruler Ruler and Tango Dash 1, whichever one of you gets here first. Uh, Primal Conqueror, the one we just played against. Uh, Ruler, if you see me in your friends list, please send me an invite. <clears throat> you were spreading managed democracy. God, hey, God bless you. Oh, I see you, Ruler. Okay. Yeah, let's hook it up. Let's hook it the fuck up. This Judith deck, this Judith deck does kind of fuck. Number seven, eleven forty-three. Thank you for the Twitch follow. Welcome to the doghouse, my friend. Uh, can I? How slow is this deck? I super can't. I super can't just wait until Phyrexian Arena, but I want to. Uh, one five nine two nine Tango Dash One. Oh, this will fucking do it. This will absolutely do it. Oh, and we're playing Slow Lands. Let's go. Let's make Treasure. Ideally, we would wait until Judith was already out to use that, but. You know, we gotta get we gotta get to our ship fast. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like if we don't, we are gonna get gooned by this planeswalker deck. One five nine two nine Tango Dash One. It's a lot of scrying they're doing. Okay, I got your invite, Tango. We super want Grim Hireling. We don't need the cards yet, Lua. At least not in my opinion. Probably gonna get fucking board wiped here. Are you a coward? No offense, just curious. Absolutely. Absolutely. Card draw wins games, you feel? It will. Not yet. Yeah, there it is. At least this is four mana. <clears throat> That's pretty fine. Fuck it. Spend the treasures. More board wipes. They're probably gonna board wipe us again. We do have enough treasures that it will be okay. Don't target my don't target my gal. <clears throat> Keep it on your side of the board. You have commander mana. Play your fucking get out of here. Oh shit. Yeah, goodbye. We're still gonna we're still gonna get blown out by this. Now we have a million treasures. Yeah, we don't need to we don't need to make practical decisions about our treasures when we get two per two per swing. Okay. 
Got him, GG's. Got him, GG's. What the fuck are we doing, Discord? Yeah, bye, Mushy. Thank you for the congratulations. We are gooning all over my audience with uh, a new Judith deck. I knew I, I knew I saved this land for a reason. Yeah, hey, that's a good choice, buddy. Too bad it doesn't fucking matter. Um. I mean, then we just submit one. Well, Death Touch and Life Link that. This edict is sort of unnecessary when we have end the festivities. Great. <laughs> we have a bunch of. God, we have so much fucking removal. Got him. G fucking G's. Don't board wipe me though. <clears throat> oh wait, if they try to board wipe me, we can at least get them down to one with a braid. Uh, just in case, as insurance. Because then we can kill him. If they board wipe again, we can kill him with end the festivities on our turn. That's... That's why you gotta think. That's why you gotta think. Sure. I know the sound effect didn't play for y'all. It played for me. That's why he's Twitch partner and you're not. Because of my fucking sick Rakdos gaming. Good game, Ruler. Uh, and we're going to see Tango Dash 1. Well played indeed. I love this deck already. This is such a fuck. This is such a sick deck. And then after Tango Dash One, it is going to be Erudite Five Twelve. So Erudite, make sure to send in your uh, tag or add me on mine so that we can play together. <laughs> fuck Anim Pakal. This is exactly what I thought might clown this deck. I think I can make this work. Or more like, more like if I can't make this work, what the fuck am I doing? No board wipe, no keep. Here's the thing, Lua. I'm not a coward. Are you a coward? I'll draw the board wipe. I know that in my heart and soul. I don't need, I don't need to have it in my opening hand. Because I know, let me click it. Because I know that I'm going to draw it. Uh, here I actually think I want the surveil land more. Because I don't need. Yeah. I don't need DRC on top. But I need to make sure I get to the one ring. Because that fog is going to be what buys me time to draw <laughs> to draw to a fucking sweeper. And if I don't draw to a sweeper, I'm going to get clowned. Screlves Hive? You got to be joking me, dude. Inti? Come on, man. We will 
Yeah, Bergy will do it, and then we have something that can hold up against the Skrelbs. It's okay, we have an aggressively costed 1-3 coming up so fucking true. Well, they have no mana, so I know they don't have a trick here. I will block the toxic thing, I guess. Oh, and we're gonna get to Surveil, which is... Fuck, Shelly's so good! It's not even the out, but it's just, it's such a good card. Take a turn off. Take a turn off. <laughs> Please don't exile my ring. All right, so that thing can get indestructible. So a Neem Pakal will live through whatever the first thing we do. I'm gonna get one of these out of the way anyway. Even though I'm not taking the damage, I would rather hold down their creatures by a little bit. Oh, if they have a shock, I'm gonna feel so dumb for that. Okay. Yeah, it is, it really is board wipe or bust right here. Fuck! Uh, what can we... Okay, we can Reckoners. I really want to Surveil. Do we fucking... Do I sacrifice the one ring here? Because they're going to have so much damage that if I don't... Like, I need every card I can see. Let's see, one, two, so three, seven, eight, nine, ten. They won't swing that. Twelve. Seventeen. They don't have lethal. So we're just gonna we're gonna do that. They don't have lethal, so we will get um at least one more turn. And we're gonna Faithless Loot with Shelly out. And then if we make it to our next turn after that, the one ring will keep us in the game. Okay, and we have Phyrexian Arena. So let's get rid of... This is a little too slow for what we're doing. And this will enter tapped. Okay, so we're going up to 27. We are gaining life my friends. Can we, can we bring this back? Is Shieldred the Apocalypse the actual commander of my Rakdos deck? Probably. Ninja, you don't need to re-enter. You, you stay in the whole night if you enter once. I don't think he shuffles TVH. Yeah, that's my bad. I do have the Arena Premium Shuffler turned on. Tube Grub, this is... No, this is a constructed Heroic Brawl deck. I am playing with viewers on Twitch right now. Okay, draw three. So we're gonna gain six life. Ooh, that is tempting. Can I live through this next turn though? 
Yeah, I think this will do what I want. <clears throat> okay, so I need to pick Praetor here. And then I can Faithless Loot. Restless, restless Vents, probably too slow. Fabled Passage, also slow. Now we gain 12. Now we just hold up again. Now I think we do, we do need to start blocking, um, we are gonna need to start blocking shit that isn't a Neem. Oh, and we're double triggering on their draws. Oh, this is gross. Hey guys, turns out commanders don't matter. Just pick three Rakdos staples and you're set. Oh fuck, a bunny corn? Oh fuck. <laughs> Might have to star. Yeah, I may have to. I probably ring one more time and then star and then they're and then they're gooned. So that's 14, 16. Just in case they have some shit for the toxic, which I doubt it, but you know. What's bodyguard on? Bodyguard is on a neem. Hayden streams going till about 7.30, probably. <laughs> ah! So we're gonna make them sack this and then, oh, we're gonna get rid of the bunny corn. Yeah. Uh, we'll go, hey, we'll go with death touch and lifelink for that one. Just for that one, we'll go with death touch and lifelink. Yeah, so you protect your commander. I will dump your bunny corn and then I guess I'll give, I'll just give this some like insurance against getting punched. Uh, PST Hayden, so another like hour. All right, we're at 30 life. I think we have enough. We want big score, we want windfall. Honestly, flick a coin is probably like the most do nothing. I can't believe we're bringing it back from this fucking, just getting gooned by this Boros start. No, come on, man. What are we talking about? I'm not putting Sanguine Bond in this deck. It would be good. It would be good for sure. I'm not putting it in the deck though. Okay, they have no cards in hand. So I just wanna make sure that I don't totally die. So that's 14, 22. Oh, we might actually have to block better than this. 14, 22, 31. Ooh, we might have to. So that's seven, two, four. 18, 26, 28, 29. So I think that we live with one. Let's see. I don't know if I did the math right, but math is for fucking losers anyway. So I think I live with one. I'm so fucking smart. Oh, one ring, I lose to the ring. Yeah, good game. That was funny though.
What a fucking funny game. I mean, you live by the ring, you die by the ring. I would have been, I would have been boofed. Um, I would have been boofed like five rounds earlier if um, I didn't have the ring in the first place. So that's definitely like a, well, we died a ring and we would have lost the game for not having the ring eight turns before. Halfway there, you are up. Pokey9, thank you for the Twitch follow. Welcome to the doghouse, my friend. Maybe should have hit that Star of Destruction. I don't think I had the mana to with Judith out previously. Like, the turn before that was me playing Judith and then killing the Bunnycorn to try to have a chance to live to the turn after that. There was never a turn where... Like, I could have hit Star Raw, but that would have been less advantageous given what the board state was like that would have required me to see into the future and see that they were going to have removal for shieldred <clears throat> leah thank you for the twitch prime sub i appreciate those bezos bucks welcome to the dog home yeah judith being five is like totally fair for commander and super fucking bad for brawl Halfway there, the it's 420 booty wizard, pound sign 15929. But there's a like there's a reason the deck is being carried by Shieldred and Bergy and all the other shit. Because Judith herself is like super overcosted for 1v1 at 5 mana. This is like this is some fucking commander mana costing if I've ever seen it. It is, design, it is designed around the premise of everybody's going to fucking jerk off for the first two minutes. 15929 Haunted Ninja. <clears throat> oh, and for the people that were remarking Sacrifice the Ring, the card that I had in my hand was Corrupted Conviction, which is only on creatures. It's not for uh, artifacts. I would have needed... Deadly Dispute, or, you know, I have I have plenty of things that do sacrifice artifacts, but it's not what was in my hand that turn. Oh yeah, Shieldred's fucking ridiculous. Shieldred was like, hey, hey, we're gonna make black real fucking good. 15929. Cass, I've not built Rowan yet. It looks kind of interesting, except for it's like, it's almost too good at what it does because black and red have so many ways to spend their own life really, really easily. And then black and red also have a lot of X spells. And so there's not a lot of like, there's not a lot of interesting ways to build Rowan. Reckoner's Bargain? I don't think it was. We can review We can review the VOD. Uh, but I, be, I had be, believed that I had Corrupted Conviction in my hand. Erudite, great. Add me and we will get that game going. Well, this is fucking terrible. I mean, it's probably really good <laughs> if we get to... Like, just what are the chances we're getting this third land because we get this third land the whole fucking the whole the whole thing comes together we don't get this third land we're we're gooned we're completely gooned i believe fuck it i believe am i on wait am i on the play or on the draw if I'm on the draw, then then we got it. Lisan Al Gaib question mark. That does not inspire. Hey, what are we even talking about? The spice exporting is up to standard. We're so fucking good. Okay, so we connections into connections into sack the thing. 
for... I don't know if we have a one mana kill spell. We definitely want it to be a board wipe. We need it all, baby. We need it all. We need it all. Fuck. Crackle with power is not what I needed to see here. Uh, we'll say black. We will say diabolic intent. I don't think explosive singularity. We probably just take... We probably just take uh, end the festivities and blow their fucking brakes off that way. Cause let's see, we make a treasure. We make a treasure next turn, so we have six. We can we can Judith festivities next turn. Uh, Erudite, it's one five nine two nine. Oh, get out of here. Get the fuck out of town, Halfway. Cathar's Crusade? You monster. Don't make us do math. I don't think that matters. I think the spell already gains death, touch, and life link. So real of me. Okay. And then we're gonna go get a surveil land. Yeah, we do not need, we do not need another land after that. Okay, okay. It's coming together. No, I don't feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. Not against the not against the mono white decks. I'll never feel bad. I'll crackle with power for one every fucking time. Think I give a fuck. Oh, and now they just beat me to death with a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, I'm so gooned. Oh, I'm so gooned. Okay, we need... Uh, we need to get to a real board wipe. Whoa, no! Oh, I was trying to play the swamp. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, sure. I don't even think anything we could draw would, is castable. Yeah, who cares? Good game. That's so fucking stupid. Uh, I think we had a chance. I think we had a fucking chance if we had played the thing we wanted to play. Because we had a lot of spells to dig. Um, but fucking ugh, playing that goddamn... Ascendance, you're up next. That was quite possibly the most brain-breaking misinput I've had in a long time. I've had a lot of misplays. It's been a while. It's been a while since there was just such a fucking flagrant, like, yeah, I'm definitely playing a swamp. Yeah, Hathaway. I went to... Oh, fucking God, dude. Playing that storm kill made me so fucking angry. Kelvin, I swear to God I'll time you out, bro. I swear to God. I will chip the fuck out of your chat time. Uh, Pappy, the line, so it's a raffle, but it's on, uh, but it's on Twitch chat. So you gotta come over to Twitch, use exclamation point raffle, and then you are in, and then we can get it on and poppin'. 
While we wait for ascendance, Mark is a sweetie. You are also up. So between ascendance and Mark, whoever gets here first, we will play with. I am liking this deck. All of the all of the times we made reasonable mulligan decisions, it went pretty well. Uh, and then Mark, are we friends already? If not, please send me your code or add me. Yeah, okay. Who are, who are you? Or which? Or like, challenge me. If we're already friends, send me a challenge. I will accept and we'll get it popping. Ooh, a Samut deck. I like the sound of that. I'm down with Samut. I like Vizier's. I like Nactamon. I'm with it. Winter Wolf, what's up, Fran? Good to see you. Oh, you fucking also built one? Okay. I think Black Market Connections works this out for me. I need a swamp, though. Oh, and I super don't want to take a fucking turn off, though. So next turn, next turn we go for all three, and then Dragon's Approach, God damn it! <laughs> So they're doing goddamn dragon's approach. We need, we need life steal or life gain right the fuck now. We're gonna stop spending life. We're gonna get Judith down. And then if we can get to singularity, we're okay. If we get to singularity, we're fucking fine again. <laughs> God damn. I think we're fine anyway, because they're just playing it too, too slowly. And then we just kill him right here. All right, Marcus, <laughs> you bastard. Good game. <laughs> oh, that pleases me. GG, Mark. We do, we definitely have, we definitely have some paid actor shuffling going on. Bendy's brother, you are up next. I'm just going to send you a fucking brawl request right now. Uh, if Bendy's accepts this, you can get your get back after I play with Bendy's. If Bendy's is not ready, then yes, you can get a real one. No, that was a, that was a quick speed run. I got to say, getting... Uh, no, Erudite, we can still play. Just send me a challenge, and I will accept. I'm just trying to spin, like, 18 different plates. So if I've sped past you, uh, we will still redeem it. How do we get a game when you're at Dallas Command Fest? I'm not really sure. I This will be my first time being at an event as a sponsored creator. Um... So I don't know what my schedule is going to look like. I'm planning to set up shop around like commander tables at some point, but I don't really know if I'm going to have a lot of time or how much time I'm going to have. Papa Constant, thank you for the Twitch follow. Welcome to the doghouse, my friend. Uh, Ninja, I did not accept it because my friends list is always so full that it uh, glitches out. So I only accept people when it's time for them to play a game with me, and then I am generally culling the list otherwise. Oh uh, yeah, Bendy's, you just got pulled. Uh, Erudite, which 
name is yours so that I can send you so that I can send you a request. Yeah, Cool Stuff Inc. So Cool Stuff Inc. both sponsors me in general now, and they're the ones sending me to Command Fest Dallas. So if you want to buy trading card game shit, use code MAULD at CoolStuffInc.com or they will fucking fire me. That is a threat and a promise. So please, if you feel like buying shit, buy it from them. Um, all right, so we're gonna do Erudite's game first because they've been waiting a while. Pred 512, you are, okay. Nope, nope, get back to Pred. Give me the fucking guy, there we go. Yeah, Bendy, we'll have you go right after this. So it's gonna be you, or so Pred, it's gonna be you, then it's gonna be Bendy, and then we're gonna do uh, Mark's real game since he was kind enough to give us a pure content game. I can see my girlfriend in the corner getting on Pal World. <laughs> Icarus Flu, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate those Bezos bucks. Welcome to the dog home, my friend. Okay, O'Hare. Since Outlaws is a villains based set, is there any magic villains you'd like to see show up? Yo, bring back my boy Nikki B. He did that shit, but I'm rooting for him, okay? Bring back Bolas. Please don't have Raghavan. Free my boy. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's surveil. Yeah, we do not need, hey, turns out we don't need another tap land up in here. Uh, Well, this can't block that anyway, so I think we can take another turn to slow play. And if they have removal, maybe they blow it on this, which I would not mind. Oh, fucking Steamkin. Cool. Jess, so my favorite color combo is either Grixis or Jund. It's Grixis in higher power, it's Jund in lower power. But Jund is just... Jund really is Grixis, uh, but for the proletariat. Yeah, Hathaway, I think you had me, I think you had me anyway, because I was digging desperately for an out, but I think I still, like, there was still a world in which I drew an answer, and then playing Stormkiln just fucking Thanos snapped that world. All right. Ooh, we are gonna have to spend all of our fucking mana. This is tough, we're gonna lose a lot of life. We're gonna lose a lot of life. What's going on, Erudite? What's happening? Uh, we will command tower and then we will hireling. They probably have a shock. Unblessed, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. As I was saying, they probably have a shock and it's probably about to just boof us right now. Oh, they're gonna let us make the treasures. That's interesting. Jessa, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to the dog home, my friend. <clears throat> I need right now I can still afford I can still afford to take this heat right now I've got like one more turn of taking of taking 
this much ass beating. Two and opponent. Okay. And they should be... Oh, they can get three red mana right here. Woof. Please give me a fucking break, dude. Yeah, I mean, we can't. We can't walk into whatever this fucking combat trick is. Please give me a sweeper. Fuck. I mean, I think at this point, it doesn't help us to... Like, I think we have to play everything out and still still try to hold. Oh, we get a surveil trigger, that'll help. There's our girl. There's our girl, everyone. Shelly, we're gonna see if Shelly can take us home one more time. Jessa, I really don't know. I've, I've only been with cool stuff for like a month. Ooh, I'm gonna take a lot of fucking damage. I'm gonna take four just for playing Shieldred. And then I'm gonna take four from this fucking thing. Yeah. So I get three life. Everything taps for black, so I should be able to do um, Shelly into Fanatical Offering. And then, damn, and I still don't have. I'm gonna take four here, fuck that hurts. Oh, Ferocidon can't gain life, that does suck. Well, we will at least make one more blocker and we need cards anyway like the life gain oh now i think we're just dead on board yeah the life gain would have helped but really we needed a sweeper to get everything off their board and i think we do need at this point to go back in and put more sweepers in because every single every single loss has been oh a sweeper would solve this and we don't have a sweeper. Now, Ferocidon's okay. It's really just, I'm playing a slow list, and if you play an aggro list, um, there's a fair chance you run me over before I can get started. Deck tech before you run, yeah, Mark. <laughs> uh, we already have tectonic hazards. Uh, I think damage each creature they control would I don't think this will work the way I want it to because it'll be a permanent when it deals the damage that's way too fucking expensive it does do what I want but six mana for it is kind of you know not happening Fear fire foes. Oh, to everything with the same control. Yeah, that works for sure. We'll drop one mountain. And honestly, we can take we can take things that 
aren't even one-sided. Uh, just because we need... Oh, Blazing Volley! Look at these commons. Look at these commons absolutely saving us. Fire Emancipation? No way. Felix Royale, thank you for the tier 1 Twitch sub. Welcome back to the dog home for six months in a row. Fuck, Mary kill, Uncle Iroh, Luna Lovegood, post-graduation. Thank you for that. Mr. Rogers. Uh, I'm going to kill Mr. Rogers. I'm going to fuck Iroh, and I'm marrying Luna Lovegood because I am, in fact, hetero. And that's the best choice I can make for me. Smash to dust, for sure. Okay, we got three more sweepers. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if that's good enough. And then Bendy's brother. It's you and me. So it's me. It's Bendy's, and then it's going to be uh, Mark. Your run back after that. You would kill Mr. Rogers in a fucking heartbeat. Hey, hey. National treasure, if it was kill him or pipe, I'm murdering him. In a, in a hot second. Okay, Elish Norn. The butter, thank you. I'm glad you had a good time. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it, let's see. That is fine. I'm not casting shit during your turn anyway. So worst case scenario, worst case scenario, we curve out to Aether Flux and we get a surveil trigger off of Aether Flux. Oh, we're going to get treasures too. Okay, we're back now. We can't kill this next turn. We can blow up the Cold Steel Heart and then keep surveilling. So let's Aether Flux first. Sure. Oh! I wanted to pay the fucking life, man. God damn it. <laughs> I need one of those fucking Elon Musk Neuralinks just to stop misinputting on Arena. Uh... And then we see if we survive. I think, I mean, I think we're just gooned now because they highlighted a removal, yeah, highlighted a removal spell. And we definitely have to take it back. Yeah, sure. There's nothing that wins from this position. So we'll just move on to the next one. Mark, you are up. I will send you a challenge to get your real get back. Uh, Kodazer, yeah, you only need to enter one time and then you're good for the night. I am gonna pull the next winner while we get into the game with Mark. Dade, you're gonna be up next, buddy. <clears throat> All right, maybe I need, maybe I need to try to keep good hands because every time i've been like fuck it it'll work out it has not worked out a single time oh and it's against gishath okay i need i need to lock in we i gotta 
we got to lock in a little bit. Just a tiny amount. <clears throat> Elijah, thank you for the tier one sub for the six months. How many losses to Kyler? All of them, dude. All of them. I think this works. Yeah, Dade, you are you are in the next viewer game. See you, Bendies. Thank you for playing. Have fun in Dota. Yeah, we gotta get those right out of here. No, no ramping allowed. They don't have red yet. Oh, why did I get rid of the rate of custom card? I took it down for one stream and I just forgot to put it back up. Oh yeah, we're cooking now. Oh, we're cooking now. We are so fucking back, you guys. Please don't board wipe me. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Please don't board wipe me. Let's talk about this. Don't say nice. Okay, it's another mana rock, that's fine. You are never getting, you are never getting this 3-3. I want you to know that right now, Mark. Not a day in your life are you getting this 3-3. Turbs, thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome to the dog home, my friend. But you are ne not ever. Uh, fuck DRC at this point, honestly. Fuck that land. Fuck that land. I don't have anything at instant speed to protect myself, which sucks. Um, I will do that. I will do that. Perfect. Then I should have enough toughness, so even if they get Gishath down, I can block. <clears throat> uh, Fisher Hayden, this is Brawl on Arena, so it's like Diet Commander and 1v1. What the hell is this? Okay, make a bunch of legendaries, sure. It's now hazarding time. Garbage. Oh shit, they got their 3-3. Three, three. Exactly what I said I wouldn't do. Uh, fuck it, we'll do this. We have lethal, right? Gotta be, gotta be lethal. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect, Mark, I see you. Captain goes down with his ship.
our brother saw that I had miscounted and decided to make me a truther. Uh, Dade, so we're gonna, I'm gonna challenge you and then Flaming Bear Incident, you are up next, my friend. Yeah, that artifact wipe definitely fucking bit was a big leg sweep. Nathan, I'm doing okay. How are you doing tonight, my friend? I'm playing a new Judith deck that is... I don't think it's spicy. I think it's very, like, run-of-the-mill Judith deck. But Lord have mercy, is it not... Is it fun? Okay, Samut. So this is going to be... It's going to be a fast one. Uh, Cobalt, that Redeem's just not turned on today. I'll have it back on tomorrow. So I think we go Swamp here. First Strike, Vigilance, Haste, and they're definitely going, so they're gonna go for it turn three. I need a way, I need a way to kill that man. Please give me a way to kill him. God damn it. Okay. And the festivities won't get anything meaningful happening. We'll play this just because we have to. I should have cast that just to get one damage in on them. Oh, they're greeting for Zendikar. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you rat bastard. So I can Oh Andy has first strike. Andy has first strike. Yeah, Omni, we're playing a we're playing a Rakdos Mommy deck for Judith Carnage Connoisseur. And at the beginning it was looking real nice, and now it's looking a lot less nice. So I just have to hope that he's all in on Gruel Stompy. Oh, you fucking, you cheater, bitch. Okay. That makes this a lot harder. We can still draw into a sweeper and then be fine. Unless they have on the spot removal. Oh, and this can't block, and they're going to refill their hand. Damn. Uh, 15929, nine bear. <laughs> so it's just one card, right? Okay. It's not the end of the... Well, it's not the end of the world if I draw... If I draw a sweeper here. But if they have removal, then it is the end of the world. God bless America. If they have hexproof. We're still go we're still gooned though. Okay, those aren't the moves of somebody that has Hexproof. Those are the moves of somebody looking for Hexproof. Hell yeah. All right, then we're gonna go fuck this land. We have enough. Beautiful. I think next turn we probably Face break. I think we honestly, we I'm probably gonna dump the imp just to block to stop them from drawing cards. Yo, wait, how do they have 37? Oh, they're playing a 60 card brawl deck. Oh, okay, I see how it fucking is. All 
All right, well, they're going to get one card either way, so I may as well keep the imp alive. <clears throat> Primal Bones, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. Yeah, that's fine by me. I did not want that motherfucker to live anyway. I'm sacking a treasure because I'm pretty sure I need the fucking blockers because he has been very good. Wait, hold on. We're going to face breaker first. Um, but anyway, he's been very good at farting out a shitload of creatures all at once. Now, so now we should actually be safe to um, not have them draw a shitload of cards. That is what I thought. Uh, what do you think is better, Judith or Firesong and Sunspeaker? I think Judith, er... Let me finish this turn and then I'll think about it. We're gonna sack a creature. Let me get through this game and we'll catch up with chat. We've blown out their booty hole yet again. Goodbye. Yeah, I think we just do all this. <clears throat> and then I think we have enough mana to Singularity after. Fucking got him. Okay, so we're going to catch up in reverse order. MLP, we're going to get your rant, but uh, Judith versus... Fire Song and Sun Speaker. Okay, so Fire Song and Sun Speaker. Red instants and sorceries have life link. White instants and sorceries deal three damage because you gain life. Uh, Judith is honestly strictly better. In just, in just every fucking way. Um, <clears throat> like, the first line of text is basically the same. You can decide to do that. Both of them, both of them suffer from, they cost a lot of mana to start playing the game. Firesong and Sunspeaker, it's six mana before you do anything. And your, your deck is probably packed full of white instants and sorceries to gain you life and red instants and sorceries to deal damage which are notably dog shit 
before this commander comes out. In Judith's case, as soon as she gets out, not only can, as people have pointed out, you can use her death touch to control the board. Judith is much easier to get going, particularly in commander, because black is much better than white at turning their life into treasures and card draw to get you the lands and shit to actually play your commander. Like white, white has gotten a lot better over the years. They have stuff like land tax, they have deep gnome terramancer, they have smothering titties, tithe. Um, so they can still get there. But as we have seen across me playing this deck in Brawl, this deck is fucking carried by Phyrexian Arena, by, um, by Black Market Connections, by things like Shieldred to keep me alive. And in Commander, when you have 40 life to spend, being able to like just give up 20 to get Judith down and then you start gaining life for fucking every spell you cast, way stronger. Yeah, you have better like you have better you have way better access to card advantage in red black than you do in red white. Even though red white is much better than it was like five to ten years ago. Jake, thank you very much for your kind words, my friend. Um, like Boros used to really really need the help, and Boros doesn't need the help so much anymore. But black is still way better at consistent card advantage than Boros is and in a deck that will eventually bounce back to gain life the one where you can get to that turning point sooner is better uh, I don't have the black march in this deck I was focusing more on things that um, my single like all of my single target stuff I think is generally more cost efficient Uh, the other thing we wanted to get, I'm not going to rant on Typhle, uh, MLP, I will say that I am, uh, I am using the Typhle Kindred changes mainly because uh, I have spoken to actual indigenous people who expressed that they didn't like people using fucking tribal and they wanted people to stop doing it. And I was like, that's good enough for me. Um, <clears throat> and then... Oh, Chaos decks. Here's a very... I will be making a TikTok about this in the coming days. Um, and so Chaos decks are control decks. And that is a very important distinction to have in mind when you play them. Everybody uses Chaos decks to say, oh, we're going to have a like hee-hee funny good time. And a lot of really funny shit can happen in a Chaos deck. But when you play a Chaos deck, when you play things like Possibility Storm, when you play things like Possibility Storm, uh, Scramble Verse, they are hell. You'll learn. We'll fix you. Um, Scramble Verse, etc., etc. A lot of the elements boil down to removing agency from the people who own the cards. And. For some people, it's really fun. They aren't exactly the same. Like, a Chaos deck is not the exact same as a Counterspell deck, but they are closer to each other than a Chaos deck is to, like, a mid-range Stompy deck because both are based around taking the choices other players are trying to make and invalidating them. And so, if like, a general litmus test is... If you play with people who can't emotionally handle counter spells, they can't, they probably cannot emotionally handle playing chaos decks over and over. Like the, I only, no, I only run everything that removes cards and gives them to everyone and redistributes all the permanents on the board and life totals and all that jazz. So that like, that proves my point. That is exactly what I'm talking about when you're saying like, when you are, when you redistribute things randomly, you are removing agency from the other players. That is not inherently a bad thing. I play counter spells. I'm trying to remove your agency. All of your agents, I don't fucking like them. I want them gone. And some people deserve to have their agency removed. 
but it is at the end of the day still taking decision making power away from other people and so they're not as fun as people make them out to be i think they are as fun as people make them out to be if you play them in less than 20 percent of your games i think as soon as you're like the chaos person like you are like you're known for every fucking friday you bring a chaos deck um then you you're a control player which isn't bad one of us part of the ship part of the crew uh but you are playing like you are playing a control mechanic and when you worry about when you worry about like oh is this going to be a fun deck for the table it is important to keep in mind that you are at the end of the day you are removing agency and some people are okay with that i'm generally okay with that uh but a lot of people that are like aurora boras you make a great point goad is control that was a TikTok i was going to make tomorrow actually goad is control it is a control mechanic girl dick energy on twitter can tell you more about it but they opened my fucking eyes. It's a fun mechanic. It's a necessary mechanic. Uh, but it's control. It's saying like, like other other control things. If we frame it in a way of like, other control decks are trying to prevent you from playing the game the way you want to. Goad is doing that. Goad is exactly doing that. Hell, you can make as many fucking semantic arguments as you want. You have already proven me right. Goad... Like, Goad is just not the best control strategy. But it is a control strategy. Because you are dictating the way other people have to play the game, which is literally controlling them. Like, you are... The reason people think it's not control is because you're mandating a positive action. And when they think about control, they think about things like counter spells where you say like, oh, you can't do this. And just think about it this way. If a counter spell is saying you can't cast this, Goad is just saying you can't pass to main phase two. That's what Goad is. Turbo Fog is control, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you just... I think you're operating from a standpoint of like control bad and so things that I think are funny aren't control. Tur turbo fog, yes it is. Like it can also be other things, but turbo turbo fog is like the <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about, bro? Ex yeah, Walker, you may yeah, exactly. Goad goad is on the low end of how aggressive uh goad is on the low end of how like aggressive and oppressive control can be um then group hug is control as well it can be group hug is often like it depends on the group hug deck but group hug can easily exist in the space of being a chaos deck which removes agency Any group hug deck that's trying to win the game is a fucking control deck. If it's a group hug deck that isn't trying to win the game, like literally it's control is trying to force your opponents to play the game a specific way that you dictate. Go to control because you are literally doing that. You are fucking pointing at one of their creatures and being like, you have to do this with that. Hell, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Get fucking boofed on, dude. At this point, I, kn I know that you know you're wrong. And I know that you will simply never say it to chat. So go <laughs> walk with God. Yeah, what are we going to say next, guys? What, counter spells being controlled? That would be fucking crazy. Uh, Bear Incident, if we have not gotten your game in, let's, uh, let's get your game in. Goad is funny. 
right? Like goad, goad is the funniest version of control, hands down. But like, and I think that's part of it is a lot of people, a lot of people go like, oh, control bad, control means slow. Turn, yeah, it's turn sideways control, exactly. Um, yeah, control's not inherently bad. Control can be necessary. Like goad can, goad control can be really fucking good because a lot of commander players want a pillow fort and goad forces them to not pillow fort by controlling them so is humans control no because fucking why would it be humans is you shit out a big board state and say answer it or you die that's not control fair incident we are also still waiting on you for this viewer game if I do not hear from you, my friend, we will be forced to move on. Mad Mage of the Midwest, thank you for the two months in a row. I appreciate that tier one sub. Welcome back to the dog home, my friend. Now that I realize Goat is control, I'm much more glad that I left my LGS. I was going to ask out a control player by that logic. Oh, client shit out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I need to go into the queue for a game to break it. Hell, this is again where we return to me knowing that you know you're wrong. Because making a big board state that's answer this or die is still a choice. You just take a game you just take the game action of killing them if they don't do a thing. Whereas control is I took a game action, so now you have to do a thing. The rest is just playing the game of if I do this, if you do this, I'm going to do that. That's just fucking cause and effect. Damn, she really does have squids on her titties. Exactly. She got them squiddies. She know what I like. This has to be fucking keepable. What are we against? So really anything is control? No, Ascendance. That is the whole fucking point. Not anything is control. Huh? All right, squiddies is now a permanent part of my vocabulary. True. Are there any soft rules to make control not a pain to play against? The easiest way is to is to have a control deck that has a clear win con. Every magic player, well not every, most magic players who like to pay, play blue go through their personal like joker arc and I mean that in a very derogatory manner when they discover that Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth is, um, how do I time motherfucker out? I don't need to block you. Anyway, everybody goes through a fucking phase where they discover that Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth the Fourth exists, and then they're like, "Oh, I can play such a fucking mana efficient control deck." And they only put stuff in that stops things. Like a a good control deck is a deck that says, I know exactly where I need to get to to bust out and win the game. And I am going to have just enough stuff to stop you from winning before I can get to that point. And then I'm going to bust out and win and you're fucked. And a lot of decks will get to the point of like, I'm just going to try to stop everything ever. And they'll bring, like I saw somebody showed me a deck like this that they were really proud of. And I didn't know how to let them down because it was like Grand Arbiter Augustine and then like Propaganda and then like Norn's Annex. And then I think there's another white effect. There's like Hushbringer. And it, oh no, that's not the one. Um, 
And then it was like all counter spells and all cheap removal. And I was like, wow, this like really, yeah, ghostly prison. I was like, wow, this could really fuck somebody over. Where do you win? And they were like, oh, eventually I can play Holbreak or Horror and beat people to death while bouncing everything. And I was like, that's a fucking terrible deck. What the hell are we talking about? And so I, I would say if you want to make a fun control deck, start with start with Goad. Um... I really like this guy and this has goad so it has a little bit of control but it's also spell slinger and like mana cheating um, and so if you want to do control right if you're in a lower power table I would start with goad and then if you're at a table where you actually need to do like hard like if your table is a bunch of like high power assholes and somebody needs to come in and make them play magic by some goddamn rules, I would highly recommend building your control deck around win cons. I have another TikTok video about this that was like a always be closing bit, but you should work backwards from your win conditions, put those in first like don't build around the commander first you can pick your commander because you like them but after you have the commander be like what is what are the five to ten cards that are going to come together and win me this fucking game and work backwards from there don't go this is my commander if you're trying to build a strong deck you can build you build much more fun decks by working from the commander forward and you build much more powerful decks working from your win con backward. So if you wanna make control not a pain, try goad, try making sure it's strong. Instructions unclear, I built the Turgrid deck that punishes breathing, God bless you. God bless you. Bunin, thank you very much for the Twitch follow. Welcome to the doghouse. I have not personally played against the John Arenicus deck. I have not had the mis the displeasure. Dude, for uh, next level, Furcrag is fun. Furcrag is one of my personal favorites. Anyways, Edgin looks like mauled. That is the probably the best compliment I've received from the internet this whole month. Okay. I don't think our friend uh, Flaming Bear Incident is with us anymore. Bunny, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate those Bezos bucks. Welcome to the dog home, my friend. I think this is where we are going to... Oh, Gray Fox has a personal question. Hold on. I might be capping. Where the hell is the personal question? Oh, it's 12 minutes ago. Oh, God. That's back in the fucking wastelands. Okay, it was a mid of... Oh, what MTG card have you found the most able to get it? So Gray Fox, canonically, the most gettable commander of the top 100 most popular EDH rec commanders is currently Tasa Karlov, before she got murdered, obviously. So that is the answer to that. Uh, that is also where we are going to end it tonight. Cobalt Bo, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate those Bezos bucks. Welcome to the dog home. We're going to look for somebody to raid. Uh, I, we've never raided Ali Eldrazi before. Let's, um, let's raid Ali Eldrazi. 
That's someone who plays magic. So thank you all for coming by. We'll be live again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific playing League of Legends. So make sure to check that out. Have a good night, you guys. And remember to stay toxic. And that'll be the message for the raid. Stay toxic. Oh, it's followers only chat. Who cares? Who fucking cares? <laughs>